Hello everyone, it's Crystal Ether here. Enmity is the way to go in the Survive event where the newest Grey and Sage cards thrive in danger while buffing their allies. These two heroes have simple skill sets tied behind an HP requirement, so keeping a careful eye on their health is needed for these bards to sing their supportive songs. As usual, if you really like a card, then go for it. This is a single player game, so you should enjoy your roster how you like. And if you found the review helpful, I'd appreciate if you consider subscribing to the channel. Trapador Grey may only buff 3 stats, but critical damage, burst damage, and a modifier against passion foes are important in maximizing the damage potential of his allies. His damage link is also strong for anyone looking to pair this card with a DPS Billy card, especially as they belong to the same sector. On paper, this card is a great buffer outside of his initial cooldowns. However, the HP requirement on his first skill is a problem that can't be easily solved with the tools Grey can use. An HP requirement under a certain percentage isn't easy to execute in practice, and don't be fooled by the gimmick of the survive boss. Without a way to quickly drop his HP under 60%, Tropador Grey will struggle to maintain his critical and burst damage buffs, and a damage modifier alone isn't enough to justify a position as a premier support card. Until Grey gains access to a frame or an ally that can drop his HP right at the beginning of the battle, this card will be difficult to use in non-enemy fights. Planning to use this event card anyway? Keep in mind that most of Grey's better frames suit a DPS role rather than the support role that this Trobiter card falls under. Equip him with the Hunting Frame for more offense support, as extra damage per basic attack is always welcome when defeating bosses. Otherwise, his Christmas frame converts up to two normal attack orbs into special attack orbs for all allies, though this frame skill comes with a long cooldown unless Max Lemma broke him. Unfortunately, Grey doesn't have any 3-star frames that can improve his buffing capabilities, so if you lack either of the frames I recommended, a generic BP boosting frame can work for Trumpeter Grey. Just avoid the ones that heal him so he can reach the sub-60% HP threshold more quickly. Oh hey, another Sage card to add to his ever-growing roster compared to his fellow Robins who are left in the dust. Sage also has a simple kit similar to Grey, but the benefits he provides are much more niche, and that makes it hard to justify using this Trumpeter card outside of Enmity Survive events. Bleed Veil isn't typically used over raw healing, and the defense debuff on his first skill is too weak to be relevant even with 100% uptime. The HP requirement doesn't sting nearly as bad when these skill effects are just so terrible, frankly. Similar to his banner buddy, a level 2 stackable critical rate buff is enough on its own to pull Trumpeter Sage ahead of other 3 star cards. For a card that requires low HP, Sage's 3 star frames provide healing, either directly or over time. That kind of sucks actually. But if you're adamant on using Trumpeter Sage, then the Sparkle is a good mainframe that provides 15% BP gauge every 4 turns to all allies with a 1 turn initial cooldown. Not bad for a farmable frame. Otherwise, his first birthday frame is the better option for this card if you have it, with a level 2 stackable defense debuff that not only applies alongside his minor flat defense debuff, but also has a 3 turn cooldown. Just keep in mind the initial cooldown on this frame if you do plan to equip Sage with it. This melodic duel has some pretty amazing art, but their combat potential is held back until a way for the player to easily lower the HP becomes available. Ignoring that the 4th anniversary is less than a month away, Grey and Sage can perform their jobs well enough once they fall within that HP threshold, but ultimately fall short compared to the cards released within these past 4 weeks, especially when compared to the previous survive event card set, The Wild Outskirts. In any case, that's all for this video review. I hope to see you all in the next video, and happy saving!